Senator Clint Rigel wants to tackle an issue that many island residents have experienced, feral pigs running amok in the villages, farmlands, and even backyards. He says the bill was prompted by local hunters reaching out to him. One of the individuals I spoke to um, had actually uh, mentioned to me that um, he had been doing, wanting to do some of that uh, in his village, um, uh, sort of helping out especially like the elderly. So he said, you know, Sir Manumka would ask him and say, boy, you know, the pigs are tearing up my property. Currently, pigs are considered a protected species, which makes it difficult for hunters. In order to hunt or trap the pigs, a special permit had to be obtained, which costs money. So what does this bill do essentially with these special permits? The bill um, removes it from this list. So it makes it so that if pigs are damaging your property, you can set up traps on your property to catch them. Um, you can hunt them on your property, um, and the goal here is to allow um, you know, local hunters and stuff to help uh, start reducing the feral pig population. Rogel said when drafting the bill, he worked at Department of Agriculture, which oversees wildlife and game on island, along with the hunting rules and regulations. They said this bill was necessary. They encouraged it. Uh, so I worked with them to uh, develop the bill, and the bill also removes... Uh, Currently, there are fees in place if you want to trap pigs on your property or, or hunt pigs on your property. There's a fee you have to pay, so this bill would also remove that fee. He had the opportunity to meet with members of the Northern and Southern Soil and Water Conservation Districts and receive confirmation that Governor Lou Leon Guerrero has authorized the release of $50,000 in federal funds for the districts to address the control of feral pigs so that they can protect the soil from future runoff. A big part of soil conservation um, includes controlling the feral pig population because feral pigs uproot soil, they dig around, they root around, that's, that's how they eat. They actually like to go for the type of crops that are root crops. So they like to root around and dig up property um, and that, in, that increases erosion basically. By reducing the feral pig population, Rogel says this will protect our native plant life, our ocean, our farmers, and our community. The feral pig population has exploded. Um, USDA is aware of this, Department of Agriculture is aware of this. This is something they've been talking about for quite some time now. Um, the USDA official I spoke to also told me that it's a huge, huge problem. It's going to be difficult to get it under control, but not impossible. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Goncharfras.